etc., etc. So we have already good partnership already. That is very important point. And uh, Canton also is a case, I think. Uh, we have a lot of uh, many important meetings with uh, between Japan and the uh, European Union. And uh, perhaps uh, we have a already very close relationship in, in, in this field. And also we will have a very important meeting in December uh, 16th and 17th in Kyoto uh, for the Kongtang research. And this is exactly the same day of Moonshot Symposium, uh, which I will explain later. Uh, but uh, so these two uh, symposium and meeting are really connected, I think. So that is uh, also very important for us. So I will explain only two points today because time is limited. <laughs> but uh, uh, before starting our, my explanation, we I have to say we have a lot of uh, activities uh, for the international cooperation between Europe and Japan. But uh, these two are really good examples. And this, is, this shows you that how our cooperation is strong, uh, I think. So uh, first is Moonshot Program. So Moonshot Program is our new uh, program. And uh, we have already budget, uh, relevant budget about 1 billion euro. Uh, which means uh, 100, about 100 billion yen. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, we have not yet started. Uh, we will start. Uh, and our status is we have already discussed in the Visionary Council and we have already decided some areas and missions, which I will explain today. And we are now waiting for uh, how to find our concrete targets. Target is very important. We have areas, visions, <coughs> missions, but target, perhaps we are, uh, it is necessary. And uh, so now we are doing, we are analyzing the scientific aspect and also uh, technological aspect to have to determine the uh, target and we are discussing internally but uh, we will prepare some point paper uh, for every target and then we will uh, share this white paper before uh, December and we will discuss about white paper in the December symposium which I later and that is a uh, very important approach for us, and uh, this is the first time to do like this in Japanese government. Uh, so uh, this is a really new approach for, uh, for our government. And what is the mission, what is the uh, area? We, three areas. We will uh, focus on three areas. One is uh, relevant to the aging society which is really important for future Japanese society, as well as world society, I think. So we will focus on aging society. And second, environment. That is, nobody <laughs> say uh, that is not important, I think. So we will focus on uh, environmental issue as well. And also, third point is new technology or new pioneer field. So these three areas we will focus, and then uh, for the aging technology, we have already decided uh, three missions. One is inclusive society, second is society without healthy ancestry, and then industrial innovate, uh, innovation by concrete automation. Uh, so these are missions, uh, and these missions uh, we are focusing on 2050 or 2060. Like this. It's a long-term mission. So that is our, you know, our strategy. So we focus on long-term, but we try to accelerate current uh, R&D and innovation as well. <coughs> For the second area, 
uh, uh, I mean, environmental area, uh, we are focusing four missions. Significant reduction of resource requirement and full recycling of resource, climate neutral cities, and harmonization with nature. That they, they, they are really, you know, so we can share these, uh, co these are really common vision, common mission uh, between Japan, uh, Europe, also in the world, I think. And then we would like to form, create some concrete targets. But uh, right now, we, we have already, we have just decided these missions. Then for the pioneering new uh, frontier, uh, this is a little glorious <coughs> area. You know, AI, bio, <laughs> countdown, uh, frame, like this. But, uh, you know, so these are really basic fundamental technologies which perhaps uh, we have to accelerate the development. And uh, so we have decided these uh, three areas, 13 missions, but uh, now examination is on the table. Uh, I mean, uh, our colleagues are examining uh, the technology, uh, social impact, uh, right? Is, but uh, we will provide, we will publish some initial report, I said, white paper. Then uh, we will discuss on um, 17th and 18th December in Tokyo uh, with uh, relevant uh, researchers or uh, scientists or other you know politicians as well perhaps. And then uh, we after this symposium we would like to decide our concrete goals. And what the goals we have examples uh, like this here. But these are examples. We are we are flexible, and so combination of severe example is okay, or new example, new new target is also okay if you if we agree. So this is free to talk about the uh, about the target under three areas and certain missions. So. Uh, we are certainly provide the, the, these materials before uh, the symposium. And so today's my message, please join this symposium. Uh, this is a big symposium, but a very interesting, I think, because of course a lot of Japanese scientists and researchers will join. But also we are inviting a lot of foreign uh, researchers, scientists. U.S. government promised to send somebody, and also European calling certainly <laughs> will send uh, researchers or you know uh, politicians like this. I think so. Uh, this will be really uh, this should be should become a very interesting uh, symposium in Japan, and. Uh, one point is, just after these days, Christmas is done. <laughs> <laughs> so you can enjoy Japanese Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my uh, uh, announce of the symposium. So target is, what is the ambitious goals that is our uh, you know, title. And the uh, second point is, I'd like to mention, comment, how comments about uh, AI, because, uh, you know, so we published AI strategy in June this year, but this is almost the same concept uh, with EU strategy. That is the point, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, to prepare Japanese AI strategy, especially in terms of LC, uh, ethics, principle, basic principle, we have discussed a lot with UK colleagues. And we shared a lot of common understanding in terms of AI principles. And then we decided our AI strategy. And then we negotiated in the G20 summit to. Uh, introduce our common understanding to the summit paper, summit document. 
but and uh, finally, not completely, but we could share these common understanding in the G20 uh, summit token paper. So that is really, really important example of the cooperation between Japan and the European Union, I think. And so what is Germany's AI strategy? We, that is my, my, my subject today. And uh, as I said, for the LC part, For the LC part, we are completely sharing, uh, I mean Japan is completely sharing the common uh, principles with the European Union. And, uh, but uh, the other part, perhaps uh, there are a little difference between European Union and Japan, of course. And what is the most different uh, between Japan and uh, Europe is human resource. I asked uh, to your colleagues to share this kind of uh, concept, uh, I mean, in terms of uh, human resource education. But unfortunately, European Commission has not the confidence uh, to decide the education system for each country. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But you know, so human, uh, we focused on the uh, human education and uh, our basic concept is really very simple. <coughs> AI is like Japanese, English, and calculation is the basic you know, uh, capability to live in future society. So we will provide to all the high school students uh, the basic idea basic literacy of AI, AI technology. That is our first focusing point. And second focusing point is, you know, so we will provide basic literacy to the university students. 500,000 means, it means all the university students. And then, half of the university students we have to provide a relevant education of AI, which is AI from specialized field. Specialized field means for every uh, special option of the uh, every student. So this is our uh, strategy of education reform in Japan in terms of uh, artificial intelligence. So that is the you know main point of. Uh, AI strategy in Japan, but uh, we will focus on the implementation of AI in five fields, agriculture, healthcare, mobility, resilience, and uh, smart city. So we focus only five points, that is uh, my point. Then, then uh, data, we will focus also strategical data, and also r &D. that is, I think, it is also a cooperation point. Mm -hmm. uh, then, the last point which I have to say is we are uh, now under discussion, under consideration of our next uh, medium term uh, R&D strategy. Uh, this is here. So now it's under the fourth basic plan, and it will I don't know, fifth base, uh, it will finalize 2020. And then we have to have next basic garden from, from 2021. But 2021 means next year, 2022, so we have to finalize uh, by 2022. Uh, 20, 20, 2020. And now in the 2019, so we, are, we started already the discussion of the basic plan. And Certainly, certainly, one point of next our basic plan is how to accelerate international cooperation. Because, you know, uh, science, technology, innovation, perhaps Japan cannot do only by ourselves. So we need a lot of cooperation to 
you know, improve our society in terms of democracy or our liberty or uh, how to, uh, <coughs> security like this. So we, we, we have to accelerate our science and technology in terms of our you know, sharing uh, based on the common understanding common principles. That is really important for future Japanese society. So, for this point, perhaps my, our closest friend is Yuki. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, that is my uh, last message. And I, I will, I, I am very happy to cooperate very closely with uh, you, Jen. So, thank you very much.